Buyers are rushing back into the housing market. Demand for mortgages spiking to an 11 year high as rates hit record lows. Our next guest invests in residential mortgages. Ken Shinoda is a portfolio manager at Double Line Capital, joins us live from Los Angeles. Ken, nice to meet you. Welcome to the show. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Yeah, it's good to have you. Why this part of the market? Uh, yeah, you know, it's, um, there's, a lot, there's a lot of things going on in the marketplace right now. There's a lot of volatility. But one of the stable places seems to be the housing market. And the reason is that there's a game plan for homeowners uh, as unemployment spikes. We have the ability for homeowners to talk to their servicers and go into forbearance. And what forbearance means is that uh, these borrowers can miss up to 12 payments without affecting their credit score. And uh, then they can uh, go on making the mortgage payments after those 12 months. And uh, they can um, you know, make it through this economic slowdown. 12 months is a long time for uh, the employment uh, world to uh, improve and the economy to improve. I mean, you're talking about a certain amount of risk being taken out of the residential market where maybe it still exists in the commercial real estate market, right? That's right. The commercial market is uh, in a different world. It's a lot of uncertainty going on in the in the commercial market. We were sitting there in we were sitting there in March, and we were wondering if borrowers were going to make their home payments. And then we needed to see, you know, are multifamily tenants going to pay uh, their rent? Are commercial tenants in office buildings going to pay their rent? Are you know hotels going to be able to make their debt payments? And with the economy shut economy shut down, it was a very unknown. Uh, Thing. But as time passed, we actually started getting data points that showed certain parts of the commercial market aren't that bad. Uh, industrial, for example, uh, is in high demand. Any retailers that weren't online are trying to move to online uh, services, and so you need these logistical centers. Uh, multifamily tenants, actually, in April, which was you know one of the worst times, they made 88 percent of the rent payments were made. That was 95 percent in urban areas. Uh, office is clearly more uncertain as we all sit around working from home and then the landscape gets worse as you go into hospitality with hotels not being used and then lastly retail. Retail is clearly um, in a bad spot but it was bad going into COVID. I mean you can't ignore the fact that there are so many millions of people who are who are out of work which obviously makes paying the mortgage more difficult but a lot of jumbo loans fall into the non-agency side too. So if you're at the higher end, maybe you're not as susceptible to some of the issues that the lower end is because of the job loss. Does that factor into why these non-agency MBS are more attractive? Um, you, you know, absolutely. Uh, if, if you look at um, the, the landscape of borrowers in the mortgage universe, the, it, on average, homeowners have uh, higher paying jobs, higher median income. They have higher savings. They needed the savings to make the down payments. And then most of the job losses are in lower paid jobs right now, hourly workers, people that were in retail and hospitality and leisure. So for now, it seems like homeowners are in a better spot. Now, one of the things that we're thinking about, though, is that there's a lot of jobless benefits. And so maybe the landscape for all consumers gets worse after those benefits roll off at the end of July. Josh Brown has a question for you, Ken. Ken, thank you so much for coming on the show. Double Line historically um, has done really well with, with non-agency MBS, but as a consequence of the great financial crisis, it's a, it's a uh, universe of potential securities to invest in that's been shrinking. So agency MBS, I think, is four times the size. How big can your strategy get and how selective can you afford to be given uh, the, the, the relative dearth of, of issuance in this space um, or is there plenty of room for everyone? Look, it's, it's still a, over ha a half a trillion dollar market. So there's plenty of opportunities to be had and we can, we can scale appropriately in our, in our strategies. But that same uh, supply demand technical is actually very positive for the price action of the assets. There's just not enough bonds for sale. And as, as supply demand improves with the outflows from mutual funds slowing, maybe going the other way, uh, as that demand comes in, it, it bodes very positively for spreads going tighter and prices going higher. So future returns right now look potentially very attractive. Ken, good to have you. Good to welcome you to the Halftime Report. We'll see you again soon. All right. Thank you so much. All right. That's Ken Shinoda out of Double Line Force in L.A.